for you. I hope that all of you are having a great day. And I wanted to talk to you moms about something that um, happens to me very often. And it still happens to this day. And it just was happening actually last night and I was like, oh my God, I hate battling with my sleep. And every time that I nurse, it seems to be something that it is getting a little bit better. But um, it has been something that happened to me all the way through, you know, my um, nursing, my breastfeeding with my first son, and it still happens now. And a lot of moms ask me that because also my husband's always like, oh my God, you're always tired. You're always falling asleep. Um, so I just wanted to explain that it is very normal, that there's nothing wrong with you. And um, some of the reasons why it happens. So if you're a new mommy and you're kind of just given birth and you've just had your baby. So a lot of the times, um, the reason why you're like kind of sleepy and tired is obviously because um, of the pain medication that you're getting. Um, I had one of my really close friends um, experience that when she came home after she had her baby. She was kind of always falling asleep. And um, in fact, a lot of the times she would sometimes pump and have somebody else give her baby a bottle because she felt she was just so exhausted and so tired. And it was, um, Isaac is just hanging out here with me. <laughs> and it was actually because um, of the pain medication that she was getting after her C-section. So it's very, very normal for that to happen. Um, so just double check with your doctor in terms of what uh, medication they give you after you have your baby and you come home. Just because you don't want to be like super exhausted and super tired all the time. Um, so just be, be aware of that. And in regards to... Um, when, when you're nursing, what happens is um, your, your, your breast milk, when you're producing the breast milk, it releases um, certain hormones like oxytocin and prolactin, and those are responsible to actually help you produce more milk. But all, also the other effect that they have is that they put you kind of in a state of relaxation and that kind of um, loving, warm feeling, like the release of oxytocin and makes you feel like happy and relaxed. That's one of the reasons why a lot of um, breastfeeding moms don't suffer from postpartum because those, the release of those hormones make you feel good, make you feel happy. They make you feel good about your baby. I guess it must be kind of like the the natural thing that um that nature does to make us feel um, at ease with our babies to make us feel happy with our babies because there's so many hormonal changes going on in your body once your placenta comes out so it's um a lot of things that your body is dealing with so the release of those hormones help you feel happy and relaxed with your baby and um that's why also it's very um kind of i don't want to say dangerous but you want to be careful where you nurse your baby at night um, because you're in the dark. Um, I used to nurse my baby on a rocking chair, my first baby on a rocking chair at night. And I was like literally falling asleep, like holding on to my baby and trying not to fall asleep. And that's when um, a few months after that, I discovered about co-sleeping and that it was actually safe. And that's when I started to practice co-sleeping and it really made a big difference because like I said, I was so sleepy and I was able to get a lot more rest and be able to sleep with my baby without worrying that I was gonna drop him or anything like that. So um, if you are feeling like super, super sleepy and you're nursing your baby a lot through the night, then that's definitely something that you may wanna consider too. And the other thing that can tend to happen also, again, I was speaking before about the amount of like changes in your hormones and your body and stuff when you are nursing and after you've had a baby. Uh, something else that can happen is with your, um, you can develop like thyroid dysfunctions. Uh, it's called hyper hypothyroidism, um, I want to say the technical name, and that's when your, high, uh, your thyroid is overactive. So that too can sometimes um, cause you to, to kind of have um, like energy problems and feel overtired and stuff like that. So that's to do with your thyroid and you definitely want to speak with your doctor about that. Um, and also your pediatrician to see if there's any, the medication that they give you affects your breast milk. Um, so those are some of the things that I just wanted to mention and help you understand that it is very normal <laughs> that you feel tired and that you feel sleepy every time that you're nursing, aside from the fact that you're running around, 
your little uh, bundle of joy doing a million things and changing diapers and if they st they're crawling or walking then you're running after them so it's natural to feel tired because of that too but like I said the extra re release of those hormones when you're nursing um, it does two things it makes you sleepy and it makes your baby sleepy so um, and especially at night there's an extra boost of the prolactin and that's gonna help like I said make more milk but at the same time it's gonna make you feel a lot more relaxed and tired and sleepy and the same thing for your baby too so um, is there am I the only one that feels like that uh, my baby now is just about to turn eight months and I still get that feeling when I'm nursing so it's very very normal don't feel like you're on your own um, what I would just make sure is, like I said, when you're nursing, especially at night, just make sure you do it in a safe environment where you're not going to like completely doze off to sleep and then um, something could happen to your baby. So just be really cautious when you're nursing at night. If you don't want to co-sleep with your baby, uh, make sure that you do that you're kind of sat up on your bed and you have um, padding and things like that around you um, and that you're in, in that safe environment because it's really normal for that to happen. Okay, mommies, have a wonderful day. Bye.